What are some of the best cases of, you just picked a fight with the wrong people, in military history? The Ash Street Shootout This event honestly sounds like something straight out of a 90s action movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Our story begins with U.S. Army Ranger Bill Folk. In 1989, Folk decided that he wanted to make plans for his life after service, maybe settle down, marry a nice girl, start a family. Live the American Dream In order to start, he bought a small house on Ash Street in Tacoma, Washington for $10,000, $23,572 today. While all that was happening, this handsome lad, Ronald Reagan, was the 40th President of the United States. During his presidency he had many ideas, and one of them was his infamous war on drugs. You see, in the 1970s, drug use had become a huge problem in the United States, so Reagan proposed that we should crack down on drugs through eradication, interdiction, and incarceration. However, this backfired. Spectacularly. Drugs became an even bigger problem, and they facilitated the rapid rise of street gangs, including the notorious Crips. As they expanded, they moved from their original territory in California, all the way up to Tacoma, Washington. As they moved into Tacoma, they decided that Ash Street would be a good place to do business. Soon, the entire neighborhood had basically become an open-air drug market. Neighbors repeatedly called 911 on drug dealers and buyers, but to no avail. The Tacoma Police Department was hilariously underfunded, outnumbered, and overstretched. They could do little but watch as the gangs took control of the streets. This was the situation when Sergeant Folk returned to his house after participating in Operation Just Cause in 1989. He quickly became annoyed with the drug problem and began videotaping the buys. Neighbors started doing the same. Eventually, an article was published in the News Tribune on September 21, 1989. A group of a dozen neighbors who live in the area of South 23rd and Ash Streets said they are on the verge of vigilante action because police have failed to curtail drug dealing around their homes. In order to show solidarity, Folk invited his neighbors to a barbecue. This is not how the barbecue went. Folk also called a couple of his buddies from the 2nd Ranger Battalion. Oh, and he also mentioned to them that they might want to bring their guns. You can probably see where this is going. On September 23, 1989, the Saturday barbecue began. While the meat was grilling and the neighbors were talking, a car full of Crips drove by. As they did, all of them pointed finger guns at Folk and his guests. The meaning was clear, we're going to smoke you tonight. As it got dark and the neighbors left, Folk and his rangers took up defensive positions around his house. At some point, a car pulled up and two gang members got out. One of them took shots at the video camera Folk had set up with a BB gun. Folk, fearless, stood up and walked across the street to the two hooligans and calmly requested that they leave his house alone. Probably high on drugs, they decided to respond by getting in his face and yelling that Folk didn't know who he was dealing with. Folk responded by saying that no, it was them who had no idea who they were dealing with. The gang member responded with, your history, bitch. As they walked away, Falk heard one of them say, I'm gonna shoot that army saw. Shortly after, he returned to his house and turned out the lights, signaling to his ranger buddies to get ready. And then, at 9.20 p.m., all hell broke loose. Imagine being so stupid that you think attacking these guys is a good idea. Dozens of Crip gang members surrounded the house and opened fire. The rangers returned fire. In just 10 minutes, over 300 shots were fired. The Crips had entered the night laughing and high, probably expecting an easy target. Instead, they ended up having to run for their lives. None of the rangers were injured. The incident drew national attention. The Tacoma Police Department finally got the resources they needed in order to effectively fight the gangs. And the most legendary part. Bill Falk, who is now retired and married at 67 years old, still lives in the same house, 2319 Ash Street.